In this lesson, we're going to see how to begin doing CGI or Common Gateway Interface Programming using Python. CGI is a standard for server software and how it generates web pages and data that is stored on the server side of an internet transaction. Of course, you have the client side where the browser sits and the server side where the web server sits. So CGI is a standard for that communication between the client and the server and how web pages are generated. We're going to simulate CGI programming using a similar server setup that we used with simple HTTP programming. But the first thing we have to do is we have to create a subdirectory to store CGI programs. A CGI program has to be in a directory called the CGI bin directory, or that's where servers are looking for it. Of course, you could probably change the server to some other directory, but the standard is to use the CGI bin directory. So the first thing we need to do at our Python command prompt is create a CGI bin directory. So I type the command md space CGI dash bin to create that directory. Then I can scoot over to the directory by doing cd space CGI bin. So what we're going to do first is create a simple little program. We'll call it hello CGI.py.py. Let's fit that into the screen. We're off the center a little bit. First thing we're going to do is import the system library, sys. CGI programs have to use the standard output to write the content of the web page. In this case, because we're going to do is like a hello world program in CGI. So we're going to write out content. So we do that by writing to standard out. First thing we have to do is write out the content type header, which is text slash HTML followed by two carriage return and line feeds. So that's what we're doing here with the backslash r, backslash n, backslash r, backslash n again. Because we need two lines between the header and the first line of our output. From here, we're just going to write standard HTML output. So what I'm going to do is I'll create a doc type tag just to try to write in very standard HTML, followed by the HTML tag, followed by a heading tag, a title, which we'll call this title Hello CGI, and close the title and close the heading. Our next line will consist of, first of all, the body tag, followed by a heading we will do a H2 and Hello CGI as our display. Close the heading, close the body, and then finally close HTML. And that's all we need for our CGI program. So we're going to save that file, come back to it in a minute. Now we need another command prompt window to start the server we're going to use. So we'll bring that up now. Let's clear the screen. And we're going to use a CGI HTTP server. So we're going to type Python dash M CGI. Let's do that in caps the way it's supposed to be HTTP server. And so it tells us that it's serving HTTP and CGI on the local host or 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0. We can use localhost for that. And port 8000. And we need to know that port number. So now we should be able to bring up a web browser. There's one right there. And we should be able to type in localhost 8000 slash CGI bin slash hello CGI.py. And there it goes. So in that very simple set of instructions, we have successfully implemented CGI programming in Python on our local server here. So that wraps up the lesson. Let me go over it one more time real quick. And there we can see the messages that we're getting as our server runs. The first thing we did was we set up a CGI bin directory inside Python 27 directory. Then we created a CGI program, which was primarily just HTML output being written directly to standard out, which then shows up through the browser. Then we started the CGI HTTP server using Python dash M CGI HTTP server. Remember the dash M says to run this module as a file. And then finally, 
we accessed our CGI program by typing in the server name slash CGI bin slash hello CGI.py. And it's important to remember that your CGI programs have to be located in the CGI bin subdirectory. So now that we've seen how to begin working with CGI in Python, let's look at some more advanced examples in the next lesson where we're going to process query strings and do some very simple form processing. And we'll see how to do those two things in the next lesson.